Annabelle Harper was an award-winning novelist. I would like to do an expose on her life and contribution to the literary community. Clybourne Ranch, that is where all the novels took place. I contacted the owner and I can literally walk in Annabelle's footsteps to accurately investigate her creative process. Oh, sorry, I was just gonna get that. Please, I insist. Oh, no, 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 I'll just find something else. You must be Stella Potborn. Tua, thank you for this opportunity and welcoming me into your home. You didn't have to get me anything. This is where Annabelle Harper wrote her novels. I'm Hank. Uh, we met earlier. It's nice to meet you officially. Please excuse my grandson. He's usually much more social. This was used by Annabelle to study details of her surroundings before she wrote about them. Annabelle Harper reminded us of life's beauty. Annabelle would craft her days with adventure. She always said reading made her feel free, like a dancing kite in the open sky. I hear you're the go-to guy to test out my newly acquired kite-making abilities. <laughs> oh, so Graham's already sharing our trade secrets. Welcome to Lover's Lookout. When two people find themselves here, their love is destined to intertwine forever. After being town at the farmer's market, why don't I give you a lift? You said you wanted to walk in Annabelle's shoes. Uh, yes, walk, not float. Why don't you just ease into it? <laughs> By the time we're done here, she's gonna have that good old Cedar Creek sparkle. Definitely my favorite so far. You know, if you've been looking for a dance in the stables, all you have to do is ask. <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I'd say you were an undercover romantic. Maybe. I've actually been walking in Annabelle Harper's footsteps. It's been great. I don't care where you walk, as long as you're walking back to your cubicle to write profound news stories for me. I'd be called this morning trying to prepare us for your early departure. A mediocre farm booth that sells produce to raise funds. It's not gonna advance your career. She didn't tell you I said that, did she? I would never say that. Hank, wait. He was hurt, Allie, and he thought you had betrayed him. Here you go. She's quite the photographer, isn't she? Normally I wouldn't butt into people's business, but I figure since you had to write up in the paper. After the way we left things, Graham, how could she still find it in her heart to help us like this? I think you know the answer to that. I came to Cedar Creek because there was part of me that was missing. That part was you. I'm never gonna let anything come between us again.